Welcome back to Top Dog Tips. Today I'm here to review the Wisdom Panel uh, Health and DNA Test Screening Kit for Dogs. Now, Wisdom Panel is one of the most popular names in the industry as far as dog DNA tests, so I was really excited to try this out with our little Beagle Mix Molly. Um, there are two different Wisdom Panel tests. There's one that's just a breed detection. That one's $84.99. These are quite expensive. That's very common. There's not a whole lot of dog DNA tests on the market, um, but they all run very similar in price. You're going to spend a lot of money to do this, but I'm going to talk about the benefits of it uh, in this review, so just hang tight. So if you do just the breed detection, it's $84.99. This one is um, a breed and disease detection. So you can see it says Wisdom Panel Health on it, and um, what happens with these ones with the breed both of these actually, the breed detection and uh, the health screening, they can identify over 250 different breeds, types, and uh, variations of dogs. So they're gonna be able to give you some history on your pet. Now, for example, um, Molly, we know where she came from and um, we know her mother and who is supposed to be a purebred beagle and we know her father who's supposed to be a purebred cocker spaniel now we saw both of these dogs they looked very much purebred but sometimes that's very hard to tell so i'm going to do this test on molly and what we're hoping for is a 50 50 split between beagle and cocker spaniel but who knows what's actually further back in her bloodline. Wisdom Panel is going to tell us that. Um, they do claim to have the largest breed database in the world, so of all the tests, um, a lot of tests are around 100, 125, maybe 150 breeds, but um, over 250 breeds, types, and variations of dogs, so that's pretty impressive um, in itself. And then um, they also do an analysis um, of your dog's traits. You'll get that when you get your results, and you'll also get um, drug and exercise sensitivity uh, testing as well. So when you get your results back, all of that information is going to be in there now. Today I'm just going to swab Molly. If you have seen DNA tests done um, like on television, this is pretty much similar and that's pretty standard with all dog DNA test kits. So what you get is this envelope which you're going to use to send your swab back and then you got the instructions here. It's really easy to do. You got your little swab. Um, it tells you exactly what to do which I'm going to show you now. I have caught Molly while she's napping which is a great time to do something like this to your dog when they're nice and calm and relaxed. So here is the box that uh, my swabs came in that I just showed you. And this is my package of swabs. There are two swabs in here and you're gonna use both swabs on the same dog. So the instructions, which I've already read, first tell you to peel this down and remove one of the swabs. Now, just like you see on TV, you're gonna swab this in your dog's mouth. You wanna get the DNA as much as you can. So it says to swab between the cheek and the gum for about 15 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with my first swab. And then you can set it, the box has little holes in it. So you can set it right in there. Um, so it's dry, it's drying I should say, and it's not touching anything. And you wanna let them dry for about five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Hey, little girl. I know. Okay. Swab one is finished. Now I'm gonna take out swab two, and again, you're using both swabs for the same dog. I know. Let's try this side. Good girl. So both of my swabs are done. Um, you can see that Molly's not hurt in any way. It wasn't super comfortable for her, but it's really quick and easy. So that's done. And while your swabs are drying, you need to get on um, the website, which it gives you right on your information card here. It's activatemykit.com. And you activate your kit, and then you have to write your activation number on this envelope with your name and your pet's name. And once you've done that, I'm gonna go do that now and write all this information. You stick your swabs back in here. You don't have to reseal it. Just simply stick them back in here. Stick this back into your test kit. And then as I showed you previously, 
um, you can mail it right in this. So you have everything that you need from Wisdom Panel. They send you everything. It's very easy to do. As you can see, this took about a minute um, to get Molly swabs. And now I'm going to go activate it online, which might take a couple more minutes. And that's it. We're done. I'm going to mail it back. And I will uh, get the results and show you guys what we find out in, I don't know, a couple of weeks probably. It took a couple of weeks, but I got my wisdom panel results back. You receive an email. Um, if you're if you don't have an email, they'll probably send you the results in the mail. It might even take longer than that, but um, most people nowadays have an email, so that's how I did it. Um, so it says, "Click through now to discover what we found about Molly's ancestry." So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Remember that when you activate your kit, you create, uh, you input your email address, which is your username, and you create your password then. So uh, be sure to write those down or save the email that says that. Um, and so it just says, you know, my account settings, my account details, obviously. Um, so results are ready. Oh, and I can print a report summary too on there. I don't know if you see that right there. Print a report summary. Um, and then it just gives information about my dog and, you know, who I did on. Okay, so I'm going to skip the learning lab. Well, I'll show it to you really quick. So the learning lab is um, just basically you track your dog's DNA sample and you learn more about uh, breed identification. So you can do that um, and it'll, you know, sample received, sample being processed, data being analyzed, report ready, and you can follow that um, before you get your sample, which obviously I'm not going to do now. So we're going to go back here and we're going to do about Molly. And it says, discover all about Molly. The results are in. Let's take a look at what the DNA told us about Molly. So um, Molly, we believed, was 50% Beagle and 50% Cocker Spaniel. But of course, with any dog uh, that you adopt, you never know for sure. So it is uh, correct. Her mother was a Beagle and her father was a Cocker Spaniel. And it looks like their heritage was purebred as well. So um, that's good to know. And then it can tell you, if you check on the science, it'll tell you how they figured that out and what science they used to do that. Um, you can share your results if you want to. You can click on each one to see what those are, but it says next up Beagle, so I'm going to click on that. And it'll tell you about the different breeds that make up your dog, um, different things that you can expect, things about the breed, and then obviously we're going to go to Cocker Spaniel next. If your dog had multiple uh, breeds in them, then you would get information on all of the breeds that were detected. Now we can take a look at Molly's family tree. So again, um, like I said, her mom was a beagle and her father was a cocker spaniel. So we can see that there's her mom and her dad and her grandparents were both beagles and her great grandparents and all the way through, uh, it was a purebred line. So again, you know, that's great to know, especially if you pay for a purebred designer dog, you want to make sure that they are what they are supposed to be. Next up is a certificate. And this is something that you can print out if you want. It's a statement of authentication. Um, um, it says my name and Molly's name, the date that we this was finished, the DNA um, sample was processed, and it just tells you what your dog is if you need that for one reason or another, especially probably for show dogs. Um, and then just additional breed tests, so you can check those out. Um, up next, Molly's health, and this is what I was really concerned with, um, and so we wanted to find out more important information about Molly's health um, and it says next. So uh, as I told you, they scanned for more than 150 genetic health conditions and thankfully Molly is clear of 152. So congratulations, Molly inherited zero copies of these disease mutations. Be sure to use our share feature uh, to let your vault veterinarian know about Molly's results so it's easy to show your veterinarian um, especially if something comes up you want to make sure that they have a heads up on that so I'm happy I'm so happy that Molly inherited zero of those disease mutations hopefully she, hopefully she'll be very healthy for a very long time um, it can talk about your dog's traits so let's click on like beagle ears and it will tell you um, and like a beagle nose so these are things that they found in Molly's DNA. Um, so her pigment, because she's a mixed breed especially, Molly carries the gene for the expression of black pigment. That means that even though her overall coat color may not be black, that she is still able to make black pigment. Um, and then it said dogs with this trait will 
also likely have black around their eyes, a black nose, and may even have black pads on their feet, which Molly does. And so they can tell this kind of stuff from their DNA, coat length and type. Um, and actually Molly's is more of a beagle coat. So it says Molly's coat is probably on the short side, which is true. Um, the exact length of the dog's coat is down to several factors, so it can vary. Did you know that some jeans can even change how short a coat looks, including adding feathering, which results in longer hairs between the ears, under the belly, and behind the legs. Um, even though Molly is half Cocker Spaniel, she definitely has more of the beagle coat so her hair is short uh, so this is great especially if you have a puppy and you're wondering what they're going to turn out like uh, you can learn a lot from this next up is their ideal weight molly weighs about 30 pounds so we're perfect uh right now but it does say if you have you know an overweight or an underweight dog or uh you can also find out if you have a puppy what their ideal weight will be uh, when they're full grown, is Molly the correct weight for her body size? And it gives you a little bit of information about that. Um, and then just the end of the report, you reach the end of Molly's report and we can fill out this little survey. So you get tons of information, uh, which is really great. Obviously Molly's isn't that exciting because thankfully she didn't have any of those uh, genetic health conditions pop up. So uh, I'm thankful for that, but uh, there's not really a whole lot to tell. It is it definitely does give me a peace of mind though as well. Um, and of course, if you're not familiar with your dog's breed or you don't know which breed they are, it's a big help in finding which breeds make up your dog and what you can expect from those. So um, I was very happy with my results. Again, like I said, it just took a couple of weeks to get. So uh, if you guys have any questions about Wisdom Panel, the test itself, or the results that you got, feel free to email me, Samantha at topdogtips.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will be posting another one on our YouTube channel very soon. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. We really appreciate you guys tuning in whenever we post a new video. Of course, you can check us out on our website, topdogtips.com. So be sure to bookmark that and check back often because we are always publishing new reviews, um, product information, top 10 lists, information about dog care, grooming, training, um, all aspects of dog care health, and uh, we share some vet tips on there, all kinds of great stuff. So if you're a dog owner, dog lover, that's the site for you. Also, be sure to find us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Uh, you can find us on Pinterest as well. So uh, make sure to follow us and then you'll stay up to date with everything that's going on on our website and on our social media. You'll see all the newest videos whenever they're posted. And of course, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. All you have to do is go to YouTube, search for Top Dog Tips. We're right there. Subscribe and you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. So be sure to do that. Thanks again for watching watching guys and I'll see you back soon with another great Top Dog Tips video.